So, first live for a while. Lovely to see you all. God, I look a bit dodgy like this, don't I? I have got a hair look. Um, so I realise that, again, I've not been with you much lately. There's been loads going on, loads of things will come apparent over the next few months, but it's all rather exciting. Um, so I thought I would come, I've been desperate to do a peel on myself, so I thought the best time to do it would be with you lot on here. So um, I've got it all ready to go. You'll have to build, so obviously this is a normal working day still. Emma's still here, say, say hi Emma. Hello. She's here, hold on. <laughs> there she is. Um, we've got the dogs here, we're likely to have noisy dogs. Um, so we'll just work around that, okay. So, um, and I'm going to do a peel on myself. I've been itching to do one for days, like I say, well, weeks actually. I just haven't got round to it. Some of you may have seen my um, videos, or my lives from a couple of weeks ago where I was with the lovely Michelle and I had my fabulous cheek fillers. So I have got these awesome cheekbones right now, which I'm very happy about. Um, I also had some Botox at the same time. Let's do a little top up. You can see, see, I'm not allowed to write the word Botox because you're not allowed to promote that you do it. But I don't think the bots are quite up to picking up me talking about it. So you can see I need a little little um, adjustment dose, a little tiny bit there, maybe a tiny, tiny bit there, but otherwise it's looking fabulous. So um, thank you to Michelle for doing uh, mine for me. And obviously I can do that for you if anybody wants it. But I'm just very happy with this. Now, if you'd seen the results from before, what it's done, it's lifted um, what we call the nasolabial folds. Some people have fillers in here, um, but actually what you do is you fill here first and that lifts, it gives you your coat hangers to hang your skin back off, yeah? It gives that little bit of a facelift effect and it's given me a jawline back as well. So that was really brilliant. But what it doesn't do, injectables are fabulous and I'm loving doing them, I'm loving being able to offer them. But what they don't do are, um, they don't address skin health, they don't address collagen turnover and the aging that happens actually on your skin. So one of the best ways to do that is a good skincare routine. Um, I think I'm going to do that over the next few days. I'll go through my skincare routine. I've done it before, but not for ages. And then the other thing that's really important is regular treatments. Now, treatment, you don't have to have one a month. You don't have to have one a fortnight. But it is better to have consistent ones throughout the year. So do one every couple of months throughout the year, rather than one every three weeks for three months. And do that consistently. Keep your skin cell turnover going keep your skin in the best health you possibly can, and that will um, really help with maintaining the results of any injectables you might have, and keep your skin looking fabulous. Now, my skin's really clear, um, and despite the Botox, I didn't have a lot of wrinkles, but it was starting to feel a bit aged. Um, but what I have had recently is a flare-up of rosacea. So I've got nothing really on my skin today except a little bit of tinted moisturizer. And what you can probably see is redness across here, redness on my chin and actually I think my nose is starting to go a little bit again. Now the way to keep that under control is home care products and skin treatments like chemical peels, Wow Fusion and that kind of thing. Wow Fusion is great for it actually. Um, I'm not ready to do that on myself yet though. So um, we're going to start with a peel today and I'm going to um, tweak my home care routine and I'll go through that with you at my next video. But what this, what the peel will do will really help get on top of um, of the rosacea. So the products we're going to use today, so it's a there's several steps to a peel and it, it depends how long it depends how uh, how long I leave all this on for. Um, gel cleanser helps strip the skin and balancing solution um, which we'll do first and it's going to be a three layer treatment. So I'm going to be here for a while, we'll talk about some of the products, jump in and out as you want to and uh, I'll probably stick this one on YouTube later as well so if you want any more information it will be there. So uh, the easiest thing to do is for me to just get on with it, basically, and stop yakking. So gel cleanser. If any of you use gel cleanser, if you've got dry skin, I don't recommend it. It's fine for a treatment, but not for every day. And you use lots and lots of water. Get a bit of a foam. And we need to take off uh, all of the sunscreen I've got on. And we need to get the skin as clean as possible. Because then the products that we use will be able to get to my skin all the way to the hairline you don't ever want to because if you don't if you don't peel to the hairline so mine goes up i've got a bit of a widow's peak you can end up with if you if i always did a peel like that you could actually end up seeing the difference in those bits so i do need to make sure i go all the way up into the uh, the peaks so to speak 
not to be confused with the local landmarks in Derbyshire. If you've got any questions, by the way, do stick around. In fact, I'm going to stick um, this live on my phone so I can see it. Because then if anybody's got any questions, it will ping up on my phone. So let me just rinse this off and then I'll do that. I have actually remembered not only a towel this time, and but a mirror as well. Because it's really hard to do in the screen. Okay, so that's getting off my sunscreen. But this would be a good in a minute. Once the first layer of treatment is on, it would be a good time to start asking me questions um, because obviously those ingredients have got to stay on the skin for a few minutes with each one. So really important my skin's really clean. I said I did remember to bring a towel. But there's some great screenshots. Facebook always pick up the most ridiculous screenshots. Um, okay, let me just switch off the sound. Hopefully Facebook will be nice to me. Nope. I'm hoping that I can just pick it up because it would be really useful to be able to see myself. There we are. So, okay, there we go. There I am, I can see myself, that's very bizarre. Oh, hi Karen, so I can see who the, who's here now. I can see people. So, that's the cleanse. And then I'm gonna do a prep. So balancing solution. It's a little, for those of you who's bright and clear, it's a little bit like that, but a bit zingier. Um, it's uh, It sort of strips the skin of any dead skin cells, any last oils, takes the skin right back to, um, to a really clean base can feel a bit zingy some people actually can really feel this and it is part of the treatment as well so it's not um at least do it in the mirror so it's not just you know a, an inert thing all of these products are active in their own way i'm just trying to work out if that's i had my hair done last week i do i'm trying to work out if that's still my tint on the side of my head it's entirely possible i suppose <laughs> <laughs> and so we need to get the whole area that we're treating nice and clean get all this dead skin and oils off and I said this this is going to be a longish um, live because I'm going to be doing this properly I want a decent treatment today I was going to go in the gym today I'm not going to do that now <laughs> well, I'll have to do it tomorrow I have brought my cup of tea as well because I was going to need that as I'm going so that's ready for the first layer and the first layer is Enzyme peel, enzyme retexturing treatment. Um, smells lovely. It's not green, it used to be green. Some of you might remember it being green. Citric fruit acids, citrus fruit acids. They're like little Pac-Men. Nibble and munch all your dead skin cells. All really gentle. Mirror again, because I can't do this in the screen. They're all what's known as superficial peels that I'm gonna use today. Superficial doesn't mean not active. What it means is it only works on the superficial layers of the epidermis. It doesn't, none of the things I do today will be heading down towards the dermis. I don't need them to. All the bits I'm interested in working on are all within the epidermis. If I do a glow peel, particularly if we start adding layers, you can do more than one layer of a glow peel, then um, you do start to head towards more of a medium depth peel and you can get some visible shedding with that not had one of those for ages I think it's time really need to do a glow peel have you ever had a glow peel Emma? yes you have you've, I know you've had peels I wasn't sure if you'd had a glow yeah well, love it peel hugely, but wow, no not everybody does feel does actually physically peel some people do um, and what you do after a peel is also really really important and we'll go through that shortly few of you starting to join me now so if you get any questions please do ask and, uh, this is just starting to feel nicely zingy without being there's no pain to any of this I respond very strongly to glow peel I can only have one layer now glow peel can actually be put up to four layers um, you have to have a prescription for hydrocortisone if you go beyond two 
um, I cannot get past one. My skin won't let me. We basically treat to your tolerance level and my skin won't, won't go beyond one layer of uh, glow peel. Uh, quite often it will tell you what it needs really. And what my skin needs at the minute is this rosacea sorting out. As I said in my post to announce this live, um, there's a few reasons why I've had a rosacea flare up. I've massively changed my diet in the last few weeks for the better, but any changes can trigger things. So my body's going to be going, oh, what's going on here? Um, but also the, probably the biggest thing is the change in temperatures. So the weather is changing one minute, glorious sunshine, like it is at the moment. And one minute it's cold and windy and wet and horrible, like it was earlier on. Um, we have actually resisted. I haven't got as far as sticking the heating on yet, which is quite amazing for me, but it does mean the house is quite cold at night and all those changes in temperature, um, and environment and sort of humidity and all that will impact on rosacea. So there's that and also working full time in masks. I'm still wearing masks for all of my treatments and um, whenever I get anywhere near, you know, up close to people, um, I feel it's only appropriate to keep doing that. I am still testing regularly for COVID, but actually I think I've got one of those things. I think I'd find it very difficult to lean over somebody and do a treatment on their face without wearing a mask. Now I suspect that will stay. My face doesn't like it very much. My skin doesn't like it very much, but it is what it is. And this is one of the solutions. This is one of the things to help it. So I'm just looking at the time. So I want this one to have up to about five minutes. As a standalone treatment, this can have up to 20, but because we're layering this today, I'm not going to overdo it. So we're going to have a few more minutes on that. Um, you'll be seeing Emma leaving shortly. She's uh, She finishes at two, so we'll uh, we'll let her pack up and go. But um, what I will do, we'll talk about sort of aftercare and the other products and things that we're going to use as part of this peel. Um, and the other types of peel, thank you. Bear with me two seconds. There's actually some large letter stamps in the bowl in the utility room. So if you grab one of those, then that actually, uh, you can just drop it straight in the thing. Thank you. So we've got some samples going out to a client, so we need to get them in the post. And them was very kindly, they're just going to do it for me. Um, so now if you're watching, they're on their way. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is an enzyme peel. It's a lovely standalone peel. It's very superficial. It's a really nice one as a, as a one-off. I've got an event coming up. I want my skin to look a bit glowy. Um, on its own, it's not going to take 20 years off you. But, um, well, nothing I do takes 20 years off you, but it will just make your skin better. Um, and it is a really nice treatment to have on its own. It is a nice one for rosacea, particularly if at the beginning of the rosacea um, uh, journey, because um, it's not too aggressive. It's nice, and, um, it's nice and active, but it's quite a nice one to have. So as a standalone treatment, it's actually a really nice one. Now there's various things we could use in a, in a combined treatment like this. One of the things that's very brilliant for rosacea, actually, or for dehydrated skin, something I'm using a lot um, since people are now sort of coming back from the ho from holidays, those that have had them, or pe lots of people have been sort of the West Country and there's been lots of sun. Um, so one of the things I'm doing a lot of is uh, aqua infusion masks. Um, it's, that's one of my favourite treatments, actually. It's a really active hydrating mask and it um, encourages the skin to hydrate itself. So it's not something that leaves your skin feeling kind of sticky and oily because it's trying to moisturize it. It actively hydrates and then makes the other layers of a treatment that we do more efficient as well. But um, I'm not doing that. I mean, I wanted more of the, the peel element. So that's why I'm doing the enzyme treatment as my first layer today. Um, so it's the, like I said, it's the fruit acids, um, citrus fruit acids that cause the, the, the peel. Um, all the dead skin cells get munched up by those fruit enzymes and um, and uh, help take, it encourages the body to release that top layer of dead skin cells. Um, while this is good, so this is starting to feel nice and warm now, I was just getting ready to go, so we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll let that out of your way. No, it's fine, my lovely. I did say we're going to be doing this in the middle of uh, in the middle of normal working hours, but I've got someone coming around to, to quote for a blind for me at three o'clock, so I've kind of got to be done by then. <laughs> I'll see you on Friday. Say bye. <laughs> um, so um, let's put this back down a little bit. So yes, yeah, citrus fruit acids, nibble and munch all your dead skin cells, and just on its own, it leaves a lovely, lovely finish as it is. Um, this one's going to have a couple more minutes. 
But I, what it feels like now, you can probably see I am starting to go a little bit more pink than I was. I respond very strongly to all of these treatments. Mm. Um, normal redness is completely normal. Um, you know, sort of a bit of local redness. Um, I usually go redder than everybody else. So uh, I've not yet had anybody to, that worries me that I think, oh gosh, I've gone really red and it's, it's too much because nobody goes as red as I do. So generally speaking, um, redness is normal. And within about an hour after the treatment, that all should settle. Now, one of the things that people worry about is downtime. You know, what are they going to look like afterwards? Uh, for the most part, with all of our peels, in fact, most apart from uh, standalone skin pen microneedling, the, it's, it's the most aggressive sort of, say aggressive, it's a brilliant treatment, but it's the most assertive treatment on the day where you will have some redness for a couple of days. Everything I do tends to be, um, there, there's very little in the way of downtime. So I'd be able to go out today and you know go to the shops or pick kids up from school or whatever it is you want to do without people going, oh my God, what's she done? Um, that isn't how these work. And what I wouldn't want to do is to do a peel and then send someone out with a face mask on because um, you don't want to keep heating up that face. You don't want the face to get sweaty. You want to keep the skin dry and clear as much as possible. Um, so this has now had about six minutes, so I could leave it a little bit longer. It is feeling nice and warm. It's feeling really active. Um, a lot of it, as you can see, has started to soak in. You don't put tons on, but I can feel it starting to do its thing. So um, I will take that off now. Um, so I just use cool water and swabs for all of these. And like I said, you could just do this one, this layer, on its own but um, I want something a bit more robust today but since sort of having sun exposure over the last few weeks I am always very careful I always use um, my Lumia sunscreen or my Synergy 6 so they're factors 40 and 50 and um, I use that all of the time but even so even with a hat and sunglasses I still picked up a tan on holiday I was one of those was it fortunate or mad enough to get on a plane and go abroad? We um, went to Mallorca for 10 days and I did, you know, I've still got a tan. So if you can see it on this, I'm usually really pale. Um, and it's very hard to avoid that. So it's very important to treat the skin carefully after sun exposure. If you've had too much sun exposure and you peel um, someone, you can end up with pigmentation. So I want to avoid that. You can see I'm going quite pink around here. Now what I have got, I've got some pigmentation there. It's actually a flat keratosis. I'll probably never completely get rid of that. I need to be quite robust with it. But the other places I've had pigment are here. And again, you can see a little mark. It could well be that that's a flat keratosis as well, but it's much improved because I've been using pigment serums lately. Um, that's, yeah, that one does look like, I think the holiday has brought that one up and peeling it has kind of brought that out. Pigment's a bit of a pain. Um, the best treatment, that I've got, I believe, is the Wow Fusion. Um, and um, it gives really, really good results, but you do still need to use it alongside the right home care. So sunscreen, 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 vitamin C, retinol, and the pigment serums in Telebrite and Eventone. So right, that's the peel off. I think I'm just gonna pat it with this as well. So, my little pot I'm going to put in there, Radiant 30, where's my camera, there you go, can you see Radiant 30? That is um, a lactic acid peel. Now there's lots of different acids used on the skin, lactic, glycolic, mandelic, um, azaleic, all sorts of different ones, uh, salicylic. The two that I mainly use are lactic and salicylic, retinol, retinoic acid vitamin C, ascorbic acid, but for peels, it's lactic and salicylic, generally speaking. Um, right, so I'm just gonna put this peel all over while I'm talking. You, The one most people have heard of is glycolic, and you've probably heard of salicylic as well. Salicylic acid is really, really important in the treatment of acne. Glycolic acid is very cheap to produce. It's, I'm gonna have to do this in the mirror, I can't do it on this. Glycolic acid, very cheap to produce, it's very well known, um, very common to find in products. Can be a little unpredictable. Lactic acid, although it's a bit more expensive to produce, 
tends to be slightly more predictable. It's very gentle, really good for helping the skin hydrate itself. Brilliant for my rosacea clients, hence why I'm using it on me. This peel goes on really nicely. It's very smooth. Um, it doesn't sting. It For me, I get a bit of a general warmth, a bit of a gentle sort of tingling sensation. It feels nice going on. It's not an unpleasant treatment to have at all. It's, um, it doesn't feel oily, but it doesn't feel watery. It's sort of somewhere in between. Always peel all the way up to the ears and just to the jawbone. It gen and I'm also treating my neck here. I tend to treat with a general um, treatment. When somebody's laying down, I've seriously got to deal with that bit of chin. That's where the lovely Michelle is going to come in with uh, Aqualix fat dissolving. <laughs> but we get tend to get a first line kind of around there. So all of my peels go to there. Um, and you can upgrade to add um, sort of what I call neck and deck as well. So I always do this first bit of the neck up to about here. I'm going a little bit further. But you can upgrade and you can add this bit on as well. To all, in fact, to all of our treatments, you can add that. Um, and it's a lot cheaper to add it on to a face treatment than it is to do it as a standalone. Oh, I just jumped out there, I think. Sorry. don't know what's going on. Hopefully I'm back. So that's all on there. Doesn't feel too um, zingy. I want to make sure I've got all of the edges. And I can feel that working nicely now. So again, you don't need to do the other layer that I did. So the, I've done an enzyme peel first. Um, you don't need to do that, but I like layering treatments. It's a really nice way to do it. But as a standalone treatment, you could do this. You could do it with a moisture mask or an aqua infusion first. And um, each layer just brings something slightly different to it. But you could do a cleanse, a prep, a Radiant 30 treatment, and... Um, a finish without adding anything else. So as I said, this is a lactic acid peel. Um, lactic acid will help the, um, the the protein bonds between dead skin cells to um, uh, dissipate and that allows the skin to naturally shed. So you don't get lots of visible shedding, but actually it's a much kinder way to the skin to encourage exfoliation than a physical scrub, for example. I'm not really big on physical exfoliation. Um, younger skins can tolerate it better. We've got one called Lotus Scrub. It's very gentle. It's not a harsh, abrasive, um, scratchy, you know, the old apricot kernel ones. St. Ives apricot facial scrub. I bet you all remember that one. Give us, a, uh, give us a thumbs up if you remember that one. I think if you're anything over about 30 and you didn't use apricot facial scrub, I think you, you were living in a different country or something. In fact, I think that was probably all over the world. Um, and sharp, scratchy bits of um, apricot shell, not ideal. Um, so this way, chemical exfoliation is a much gentler way of treating your skin and encouraging that cell turnover. We, I do have one other physical exfoliant, but it's also mixed with acid. So it's, um, it's a combination of physical and chemical exfoliant that you use in the shower. I actually quite like that. In fact, it's one of only two non alumiere products that I use. However, I don't use it very often and you don't scrub at it. It's much kinder to use AHA um, serum and bright and clear solution on a day-to-day -day basis, along with retinol for skin cell turnover. So AHA and bright and clear are your exfoliants, your liquid exfoliants. They've got lactic and glycolic and um, lactic and salicylic acids in them, and they encourage that shedding, that exfoliation, and retinol speeds up the skin cell turnover. So you use those two together, and you get that lovely glowing skin and continued um, skin turnover, it gives you fresher, younger skin cells on the surface. Peels are a more um, sort of effective way of doing that. You wouldn't do these every day, obviously. They're much more assertive than home care, but um, they are really important in that process. It can help with stimulating collagen. It can certainly help with reducing pigmentation. So alongside, so pigmentation, I've mentioned already, we'll do another live on this in, a, in the next uh, week or so. Pigmentation is where you get things like this, where I've had lots and lots of sun exposure. I've massively damaged my skin when I was younger. And these things over time come out. 
a lot of people come to me and say, I've got, you know, all these, I suddenly got all this pigmentation and I've been really good. I've looked after my skin for years. And when you dig a bit deeper, you realise that in their teenage and early 20s, they either went on sunbeds or they did what I used to do and lay in the sun with baby oil over us to try and get that tan. And that sun damage stays there. And over time, it starts to come to the surface. And quite often you get to your 40s and 50s and bingo, there's all that damage that you did 20, even 30 years ago. So peels are really important for that. Wow Fusion, like I said, is amazing for that and the right home care. But you have to be committed. If you are specifically tackling pigmentation, you have to be really committed to that. So this has had about five minutes on. All I've got here is a general warmth. Um, for those of you, if anybody's just joined us, Radiant 30 Illumia Chemical Peel. Um, this is used for um, just general skin health rosacea. As you, but you can't actually see my rosacea now because I've gone generally a bit pink all over. So um, it's kind of blended in the, the rosacea a bit, but I really need to get back on top of that because it's something that does bother me. And I find if I'm edging back towards wanting to wear makeup, which I have been of late, it means my rosacea is flaring up. And uh, all I need to do is crack down a bit harder on my home care, tweak a few things and do a few treatments. And I will be back to not wearing makeup again in no time at all. For those of you who, who aren't sure, I only wear our sunscreens generally. Some of them have got a tint in, sometimes I don't bother. The one I'm going to put on after this is an untinted, um, just to see me through the rest of the day. If I'd done it later or it's getting dark, I wouldn't even bother with that tonight and do it in the morning. So I do want this to have another couple of minutes. Obviously, this is for my benefit as well as yours today. So I, it's had it's had about 10 minutes on, just coming up 10 minutes. So another minute or two will be fine. Again, as I said, with the enzyme peel, so we started with the, the enzyme peel. This is a lovely treatment. Each of these I can leave for up to 20 minutes at a time. But because I'm doing it as a combination, particularly because I've not had a peel for a while, I'm just going to leave each layer for slightly less than 20 minutes. And I will be finishing off with vitamin A, and I'll talk a bit more about that shortly as well. So all of these products are very active, but quite gentle and nice to use. So um, we're getting towards it. I'm going to have some of my tea. I did arm myself with a cup of tea before we started. I can't go, I knew I'd be on here for about an hour and I thought I can't go for an hour without a cup of tea with me. But if anybody has got any questions about the peels or skin treatments or any particular skin concerns, either stick it in the uh, the comments. I can see because I've got my phone running with this as well. So stick it in the comments and um, I'll see if I can answer it as we go along. Or you can always PM me or you can do a Facebook Messenger. So the best thing to do is Facebook Messenger me through the Sally Wag staff aesthetics facebook page or through the group here either of those i check those all the time you'll get a, an answer from me more quickly than the most other options to be fair so this is starting to feel quite nice now it's a nice gentle warmth nothing painful even with glow peel it's it's a funny sensation it's uh, i call it spicy rather than pain <laughs> it's and uh, it's rare for anybody not to be able to tolerate it at all and we go up at the layers we add on for any of the treatments we do to the individual person's tolerance level. Um, so, right, last level tea. Because this is an acid, um, we need to stop that doing its work and we use a, um, a neutralising solution. So because the, what I've got on my skin is acid-based, this is an alkaline-based neutralising solution. And uh, I am just going to spray it on my face. So I'm, it's quite difficult to do on myself, so I'm going to attempt to do this without spraying it on my nose. So, <laughs> okay. Obviously, if I was doing this on you, I would be wearing gloves as well, but it's my peel, and one peel won't hurt my skin, so I was doing it every day. Obviously, I'd want to uh, be protecting my hands. Actually, a little bit of peel on my hands isn't going to do any harm either. I'm just going to spray them off. Because what we don't want to do is to have this keep peeling away after the time. Glow peels are um, self-neutralising. So when you have a glow peel, it gradually calms down, stops peeling on its own. However you can't get your skin wet 
we say not to after this as well, but it's not quite as crucial as after a glow peel, because if you get your skin wet after a glow peel, it kind of reactivates it, not to the full extent that it, uh, that it was to start with, but it does reactivate it and you can end up with really significant peeling. I've just had a message. The current frame rate is too low. Please set the frame rate to 15 to 16 frames per second. I have no idea how to do that. Can somebody give me a thumbs up or tell me if there's a, a problem with the video? I can see it playing. It's jumping a little bit. Is there a problem? Keep me posted. Hopefully we'll be okay anyway. I don't even know how to start that. Oh yeah, there's something there saying. So sorry if this is jumping a bit. Hopefully it will be okie dokies. Not a lot I can do about that at the moment, chaps, sorry. Yeah, it looks like it's jumping a bit. Okay, well I'm gonna plod on. Um, if anybody's got any questions, missed anything they want to know, then just let me know. So, so far this has taken about half an hour. So the treatment itself has taken about 25 minutes, I suppose. Um, so I do, I usually allow an hour for a peel appointment, depending on what we're doing, 45 minutes to an hour. I tend to chat a lot, so 45 minutes I tend to run over. And that's just me. I don't like to rush people, so if we've uh, got enough time to have a chat, Obviously, we've got out of the habit of doing cups of tea and coffee, but um, there are plans afoot to uh, get ourselves a bit more space in the not-too-distant future, so I'll be in a better position to start offering teas and coffees again, which will be great. Okay, so this is my skin now after two layers of a peel. We've had the enzyme peel and we've had the radiant peel. Each one, on, each one stayed on for between, I think the enzyme peel was about seven minutes and the radiant peel has been about... 12 it had on before I took it off. My skin feels really nice. It doesn't feel tight at all. Um, but I'm going to finish with vitamin A. Vitamin A is a really, really, really important ingredient for your skin. Vitamin A um, is derived, so retinol is derived from vitamin A. So this is effectively a deep retinol treatment. It can be quite spicy. This is the one that will have me running around the room going pink and going eek. It's nice and bright yellow, this one. It's funny, I've always got better skin on the back of my hand there because I put all of my products when I do my own skincare routine on the back of my hand. Right, I'm gonna to have to use the mirror for this because I can't do this back to front in the in the screen. So, here we go. so this is a very thin layer that's applied. I shouldn't look like I've been tangoed by the end of this. You can, can you see? I don't think you can even see that it's different colour on that screen. Very thin layer of vitamin A. So this is brilliant for getting all your skin cells functioning at tip-top condition. And for that, that uh, keratosis, it's going to help that a little bit. I need to be more persistent. Keratoses are a bit of a pain. They're very hard to get rid of. They tend to come back. I've had it treated with laser, needling. I think I even had cryotherapy on it once. So they're not easy things to, to deal with. I just have to keep it at bay. And having a peel has actually sort of made it more obvious. That will settle down once we've uh, finished off here. So I've left this a couple of weeks. So I had, as some of you know, I had some fillers with Michelle in Sutton Coalfield uh, nearly two weeks ago. So we agreed between us that we should leave at least um, 10 days before I did any peels and I knew I desperately wanted one then. Oh, I'm just down to the dregs of my vitamin A here. Um, so it's nice and bright yellow. So my all my uh, peel and Botox have had time to settle before I've done this. It's actually 12 days because it was the Friday two weeks ago that I have my fillers. And as you haven't seen it, you can see how lovely and even my cheekbones are. So what, um, should, no, let me get this on before I start talking about that. I need to get this layer on so it's all over. And I'll tell you what we did for my fillers. I always said I wouldn't offer a treatment I wouldn't be prepared to have myself. And I haven't had any fillers. I did actually have one with a, a friend of mine, um, Maxine, several years ago. Um, I don't think I was ready for it emotionally. I didn't appreciate what I had. 
So um, I needed to have some, and I, I needed it to be fair. I needed to have a decent lot of fillers. Um, I'm not quite emotionally ready to have my lips done yet, but I'm sure that will be next. I think we're all very scared sometimes about the word filler and lip filler. So you, all you see on media is the, the, the horrors. If you, if you don't see the good ones, that's good because they're good and you don't see them because they've been well done. And that's the type of fillers that you want. I don't think anybody's going to look at me and go, oh my God, look at her cheeks. She's had loads of cheek filler. I've had three more filler in my cheeks with Michelle recently. Um, I'm very happy with them. Um, what it's done, so basically I was getting quite deep folds here. And um, the idea, you can fill this and I can do that for you. You start filling there and you follow the lines down and you just put a gentle, very thin layer of filler down here, which is fine. But if they're quite deep folds, or actually if they're very gentle folds, the best thing to do usually is start to fill the cheeks because what happens as we age, we lose the fat pads. So there's a there's very specific pads of fat under the skin. And as we age, they start to break down. And so you lose the structure and that causes the skin to hang lower and you get bigger, laser label folds. So you put that back in and it lifts it away. So what's happened is my laser label folds are now not as apparent as they were two weeks ago. And it's also lifted my jawline as well. So what um, Shell did on me was quite robust. We had a filler put into six points down the cheeks and then a cannula to put a fan of filler each side underneath. So what it's done is it's given lots of lift without making me look like an overfed hamster um, and lifted all of that and it's given me some structure and shape back to my uh, to my face, which is rather nice. We also stuck some Botox in. I'm waiting for, a, I think I'm due a little dose adjustment. I just need a tiny little bit this side, I think. But otherwise, um, basically hole in one shell. Fabulous job, very happy with it. These marks you can see here, this is from wearing my specs all the time. So uh, that hopefully will settle down where I'm not wearing them today. Ah, this now feels very spicy indeed. So this has been on for five minutes. This was the vitamin A booster. And um, this is, I said, it's, it's a deep retinol treatment. Retinol is used for all of the actions in the skin. It's a really, really important ingredient. And that's had a thin layer all over. This one stays on. The, re the enzyme pill and the Radiant 30 both were removed. The vitamin A stays on. It's a booster treatment. And again, can be used as a standalone treatment. Would be really good for somebody with acne. Although I'd still probably want to do a combination treatment. You'd start with aqua infusion to hydrate their skin. You'd do something like a detox peel and then finish with vitamin A. So all of there's lots of different things we can do to um, look after the skin when you're suffering from things like acne or rosacea. And I said, hopefully over the next few days, my rosacea will start to improve. I'm going to tweak my home care as well a little bit. So to finish them, um, Brightening Accelerator. This is a peptide-based brightening serum. It's got some of the same ingredients as you'd find in something like Eventone, one of our pigment serums, but it's for general hydration and it's got peptide support in it. Following a peel, this tends to spice things up a little bit. Again, I've got to use my mirror because I can't do it back to front in, in the screen. I can't see what I'm doing. So this is a booster serum that we use at the end of pretty much all treatments. Unless I've done needling, um, all of my treatments get a bit of brightening accelerator because it's lovely. And I've just brushed that on and then I'm going to massage that into that all goes under here. That's on and I'm just going to massage that in. It's a really, really gorgeous serum. feels lovely and my skin's just going to feel so nice after this. I need to take the dogs for a walk and it's raining. Which is not good. I don't want to get my face rained on after all this. There's two more things to do. One of them there is recovery balm. So this is a soothing um, antibacterial, um, anti-inflammatory type moisturizer it's quite a barrier cream so where we strip the skin right back doing this treatment this helps the skin bounce back from that replaces all those oils and it's just gorgeous it's just it's a lovely hand cream it's a very expensive hand cream but uh, 
if I've ever got some, if I've been doing a treatment on myself, I always rub some into my hands. And then just to finish, as always, sunscreen. As I said, I'm going to use an untinted on me today after this one, just because it's the big professional one that I've got. So there's loads on. My skin will look really dewy for the next 10, 15 minutes. It will all soak in. And it's going to feel absolutely lovely later. And hopefully I've kind of I've flared the skin up a little bit so this keratosis is very obvious. And hopefully by the end of the day that will start to settle down again as well. There we go. So nice and bright and dewy feels feels really zingy at the moment um that would take an hour or so to settle down but really i can feel something's happened so this is a really robust treatment without being aggressive I said i could go out like this i wouldn't want anybody to put a mask straight on after this um because it, it you know it would irritate the skin you need to keep the skin clear um but this is i'm doing a lot of treatments like this at the minute following the summer um the more sun exposure someone's had, the less aggressive I'm going to be with my treatments. We just want to get some hydration in there, get a Radiant 30 on there to reduce any pigmentation, to dampen down the effects of the sun, but keep that anti-aging going um, as we're uh, moving along. So if you are uh, thinking about having any skin treatments, if you're having injectables and not looking after your actual skin properly, it's really, really important that you do. Um, I'm going to come back probably on Friday I'll stick a date in the diary and then next week actually I think it's on Monday we are I'm going to do a live in group with the lovely Tracy Penny she's a reflexologist and um, she does baby massage courses as well so we're going to do something a little bit different on on Monday we're going to go live and we're going to talk about how reflexology can help us as you may well know I'm very all into the um, holistic kind of side of health and things as well I have regular treatments with Tracy um, for various issues and if, if the very you know the very least effect of that is the complete calm and relaxation that you come out with so it keeps me sane um but as well as helping to sort out some of the uh, the issues um that i'm currently struggling with so i'm just going to get rid of all this and start to look a bit more human uh, that's better i'm back so do feel free to ask any questions um Keep an eye out for a live on Friday and we'll talk about skincare routines on Friday. And then next week we're going to talk with Tracy. But any questions in the meantime, do give us a shout. Don't forget that we do a variety of different types of skin consultations. You can start with a Zoom consultation, which is free, 15 minutes, just a quick chat to see what, what your concerns are and what we can offer. Um, all the way through to the full skin consultation, which is an hour and a quarter. You get skin treatment, you get one of these, you get some samples of products and you get your own cleanser to take away with you as well so there's a, a variety of things um there or we could just talk about injectables so if you're just interested in fillers and um botox we can talk about that so i'm very happy to be back it's nice to have done a, a live i've not seen you all for ages hopefully that's been useful i'm going to pop this one across onto youtube as well so any questions you can answer ask me wherever you watch it i suppose have a great day i will see you back on friday and um, have a good night. See you later.